check this out we want to uh, install gear 360 action director but we seem to be getting a visual studio c++ error message redistributable package 2013 let me show you what i want to accomplish i've got this image of uh interior of a vehicle it's actually pretty cool i guess it's not one of a kind but several of a kind done up pretty nice original stuff I want to take this and use this in a VR scene or reframe it. Uh, it's, a, it's an image, but I also have a bunch of video. Now you have to run it through Action Director if you're using the Samsung Gear 360. You gotta kinda shove it through Action Director, use that to stitch things up, because I don't know of a way to do that in Premiere. Then you can send it out to Premiere and then do the things that you wanna do with it, incorporate it into your bigger video we get a problem when we actually try to install this action director a lot of you are getting it i got it now i'm trying to answer it for other people this is the message the process cannot continue because the visual c redistributable package packages for visual studio 2013 install was unsuccessful please contact microsoft don't contact microsoft technical support for assistance you'd be on the phone for a while i can answer it in a timely manner you just got to watch the rest of the video and it's actually not that long because i'm going to tell you right now what you have to do you have to uh, start, run, uninstall, click uninstall programs, search for anything 2013, look for anything in the visual C++ redistributable package, anything that's named that, uninstall each one of those packages, reinstall given the links below. So reinstall it, then after that's done, you probably don't have to restart your computer, but now you can install Action Director and then you can register your camera and then things like that. And I'm gonna show you all those little steps along the way. It's actually not gonna take that long because I'm gonna skip from one spot to the next as fast as I can. But I already gave you the information you need. So, you know, thumbs up or whatever for giving you clear, concise information right off the bat. Now I'm gonna actually show it to you with the eyeballs, with the clicks and the clacks. Let's clap this program. Let's clap this technical issue. Yeah. And I'm showing you the issue one more time. Tried to install Gear 360 Action Director. Boom, click next, process can't continue. C++ problems, okay. And just an FYI, no, you won't fix your problems if you install Visual Studio 2017, you just won't. I tried, you're not gonna fix your problems, they remain. The other thing, you can't install over the top of a 2013 already. That's not gonna work either. I'm trying that right now. It didn't work. See, it didn't work. Now, if you're smart, you're gonna follow these directions. Here's the directions. Oh, by the way, if I can get 2,000 subscribers, 2,000 subscribers, it's not that much. Check it out. $100 goes to one. Yes, I know I've got several hundred dollars, uh, but one of these bills is gonna go to one of the 2,000 subscribers, you know? And if somebody just doesn't respond back to me, depending on how I do the randomization, if somebody doesn't respond back, I'm going on to the next and the next and the next. So, and I'm gonna give a time limit on how fast you need to respond. Um, five days. You need to respond to me within five days if you subscribe uh, and I'll send you a message probably a direct message. I don't know how it's all gonna go down, uh, but I'll try to be as fair as possible. It's $100, one in 2000 chance, but considering a lot of people actually won't follow up with me, you maybe got a one in 1000 chance. So it's a one in 1000 chance, which sounds pretty terrible, but if you're ever playing the lottery, your chances are a billion trillion, a billion times a trillion to one, to win that. So you got a way better opportunity to win this and it's free, you don't have to pay anything. You just click subscribe, then you click like, and then you click share, and then you comment. Uh, but really just the subscription is all you need to do. But I appreciate those other things um, if you have the time. And one thing that would be super crazy awesome if you could do, um, if you're already buying stuff at Amazon, just go to garthvapor.com, click the Amazon link. That's gonna send you to Amazon with no fuss and no frills and no extra anything but now they know that I kind of sent you maybe that I kind of encouraged you to make purchases price is the same it doesn't go up it's not a different store it's Amazon they just kick me a couple extra dollars because I I am in most of my videos saying hey go check out Amazon because it is two days it keeps you off the road 
It's super easy. It may be even less than two days, but I super appreciate it uh, if you were to click on the Amazon link through GarthVapor.com. You are my hero, and I will do anything for you within reason. Okay, back to the video. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna click start or you hit the Windows key on your keyboard. Boom, it's too easy. And then you type in uninstall or add or remove program. You type those words in. Windows 10 is pretty cool about that. You type in uninstall, okay? Let's do it, uninstall. That's all you have to type in. Add or remove programs. Boom, enter. And then in this search dialog box, you want to type in 2013. You're not going to have a lot of programs that have the title of 2013. So mostly all that should uh, really pop up is uh, Microsoft Visual C++ 2013 redistributable. And then you're going to want to remove every instance of those. I don't know how many you're going to have. I had four total. I've already removed one. So we got three more to do. And you just click on it and you click uninstall. Boom, uninstall, uninstall. And then you just keep doing that. Uninstall, uninstall. And you do that until they're all gone. Got it? Now what do we do? That's right. We go download links below. And the link that you actually click on is going to uh, automatically download. But if you don't want that, you can kill that and then click the manually download. And there's going to be three different files. Really, you should know your system uh, properties, uh, which you can find by going to uh, Windows, right click, more properties. It says system type is a 64-bit operating system. That's the file I'm going to want to use. We're here at uh, www.microsoft.com. That's where you're going to want to go. It'll automatically download. Again, you can kill it and do your manually download action. V redist uh, arm. Oh, maybe that's for mobile phones. I think the arm might be for mobile phones because the arm processor, we're talking about desktop versions here. Most of you are probably gonna use the X64 or if you have some reason to do the X86, that's the 32 bit version, 64 bit. That's what I'm gonna choose. Now I'm gonna download it. Boom, drops into the downloads. This is Chrome. Your web browser may put it in a different section. Just check your downloads. Maybe you just do Windows and then type in downloads and you might be able to find it. Windows 10 is pretty cool about that. Uh, it's not perfect though. Uh, then we, we fire it up. We agree to a bunch of things. Uh, we install it. Now we're gonna go ahead and install Gear 360 Action Director. We're gonna double click on it, select it, hit enter, whatever your preference is. It's extracting, fantastic. Good news so far, we usually hit a roadblock around this time. Agree to the terms and conditions. Installing the Gear 360 Action Director. Please wait. How courteous. Very nice. May I, ma'am, and sir. Thank you very much. So it goes from uh, installing Gear 360 Action Director to installing Gear 360 Live Broadcast, which might be pretty cool. Uh, I'll have to test some of that out. Wow, look, we've got the program installed. We loaded and fired up the program. Here it is, let's get into the program. Even though it says VR video, it works for a VR picture as well, since that's an element that you can put into the timeline, I guess. So when we do this for the first time, we get to connect your Gear 360 to your PC, maybe because they don't want people to use the program for other cameras, but you can't use the software unless you do this. So um, it says connect your Gear 360 to your PC. Check the serial number for your Gear 360. I don't know where to find that information and it's probably within the camera or when you connect it to your phone. Check the product key on the sticker in the user manual package. Don't know where that stuff is. It looks like I'm gonna connect that 360 camera to my PC. So here I'm showing the 360 camera. I'm pointing out the fact that it's a USB-C connection and you need a cable that supports data and power. Some don't. I'm going to go ahead and connect it. It's connected to the computer. And right there you see it says USB device not recognized. You may get that if you're going through hubs and things. I had to actually delve deep into the device manager and I did about 10 things. I don't know if any one of those had an effect on it, but I eventually got the program to identify that I did have the camera attached. So we'll just kind of jump to that part. And here I'm actually talking about protecting your gear 360 so i put it in the amazon links below certainly appreciate any of the clicks on that it's basically a microphone cover to the top of it and that will protect and this is the problem with a lot of 360 vr cameras is you have these lenses that have to protrude outside of the main unit 
and that always makes it susceptible to scratching. So we got this uh, microphone cover that we just slip over the top and it actually has a nice snug fit to it. So I pretty much dig the hell out of it. And there I'm showing the microphone cover. And I'll just show you how easy it is just to slip on and off. Boom, there you go. That was pretty nice. And it's pretty firm, I'll give it a tug. See? That's pretty good. You might want to get yourself one of those to protect your little investment, even though they're pretty cheap. Uh, you just don't want to be stuck with a 360 camera where there's artifact on every shot you have. Or maybe a sun glare now will hit that and then refract in a, in a way that affects your camera all the time. So here we've got on your PC, connect your gear 360 camera, turn on your gear 360 camera, do not disconnect. That's the message I kept getting, unable to connect with your Gear 360 device because of the unrecognized USB thing that I was at. Hopefully you don't have that problem. So it says it's activating right now. All I did was unplug it and plug it back in. So we've activated the software. Would you like to participate in Cyberlink Product Improvement Program? Usually I say no. Enjoy exclusive benefits? No thank you. So now we've got Gear 360 loading up. Welcome to Gear 360 Action Director. Click OK. Import media. Pick a VR image or video file that looks good that you want to test out. And now we've loaded the image into the software. We can start manipulating it. We can drag uh, more videos, more pictures. And I'm going to use Action Director a, a little bit more, find out more about it. And maybe in some future videos, I'll show you how to stitch it out and push it back out to Premiere. Comment, like, subscribe, share. Amazon links, GarthVapor.com. We're out.